Hey, my name is Jovella. I'm 25 years old. I'm from the Netherlands and today I'm going to talk about my ayahuasca experience at Omai. By the way, excuse my English. I know I'm not the best at it, but I'm trying. So this journey started two and a half years ago. I felt really bad at that time. I felt like I was stuck in a vicious cycle, so to say. Um, I am visually disabled. Because of that, I suffer from a lot of migraines. Because of that, I can't work. Well, that made me really depressed. I didn't know the purpose in my life. Uh, I also had a lot of unresolved trauma and pain. So that was the time when I knew something has to change. I have to do something about this. I already tried to go to therapy a couple of different times actually, but that didn't do anything for me. So I knew something more impactful had to happen to really change my life. And that was when I heard about ayahuasca for the first time. When I heard about it for the very first time, I thought I am never ever going to do this. I thought you have to be really crazy to do ayahuasca. I was very judgmental. I thought it was drugs. I thought it was for crazy people. And yeah, I was just really afraid of it. And yeah, that was my first impression of ayahuasca. A part of me also was really curious about ayahuasca. But in the beginning, I just really tried to push it away because I was afraid. I was like, this isn't for me, I will never do this, and yeah, just forget about it. Mother Ayahuasca clearly disagreed. They are always talking about the famous calling of Mother Ayahuasca. Well, I really experienced that. Um, I heard the word Ayahuasca everywhere, whether I was listening to a podcast, or if I was watching a YouTube video or if I was watching TV or whatever, I saw and heard the word ayahuasca everywhere. At one point, I really couldn't ignore it anymore and I knew I had to do it. And I also felt it in my body. I felt through my whole body, this is what I need to do. And I really can't explain this, but if you know, you know. Then I started to look for places where I could do this and Omai immediately stood out for me. They had a lot of good reviews, almost too good to be true, but it is true. Also, I knew right away that I wanted to do three days in a row. That's also possible at Omai. And the most important thing for me is transparency. A lot of organizations are really secretive about ayahuasca. Of course, I understand why, but if my well-being and health is in someone else's hands, then transparency is really important for me. And Omai gave me that. When I arrived at Omai, I immediately felt welcome and safe. The people there are so nice and understanding. Not only the team, but also the participants. Of course, everyone comes there to change. Um, everyone has a story. But although every story is really different, you also have so much in common. And it really feels like you're doing this together with the team, with the participants and with Mother Ayahuasca. So that's really, really beautiful. In total, I drank ayahuasca six times now at Omai. And I really can say that those were the six most beautiful days out of my life. And also the most life-changing in a positive way, of course. Because of ayahuasca, I overcame my depression. I released so much trauma. I overcame some of my biggest fears. Um, I found my purpose in life. I healed so much pain, not only for myself, but also for friends, family, and even for the collective. It was yeah, so, so magical. I learned to have more respect for nature. 
I learned to have more love and compassion for other people. I learned to love myself. And yeah, there are so many other things that Mother Ayahuasca teach me. I'm so grateful for all the things that she showed me. And yeah, it's just amazing. I can't even describe it. There are no words for what I experienced. Mother Ayahuasca also showed me God. And I've always been an atheist. I never believed in God. But within one second, I was like, of course I believe in God. It was just so beautiful, so powerful. I felt this unconditional love. And I felt that everyone and everything in the universe is connected. It was so powerful. And yeah, like I said, I never believed in this, but yeah, now I am grateful for God every day. And I just look at life in such a different way, which makes it so much easier for me. And yeah, I'm really, really grateful for that. When I'm doing ayahuasca, I'm always in this higher intelligence and I always know the answer to everything in the universe. Like, why are we here? Why is there so much war? And like, why is life so unfair? But when you're in this higher intelligence, you can really see the bigger picture behind everything. And some people say, Everything in life happens for a reason, but when you're doing ayahuasca, you can really see the reason behind it. You can feel the reason behind it. And that's so helpful because, yeah, I really felt that everything you go through in life, every hard thing is for your soul to grow. And that really helped me a lot to look at life in that way. The best part about a journey for me is purging. It feels so good when you finally can cry about something that you never cried about or to release a trauma that you always pushed away or like it's so helpful. It's not the nicest part of the journey, I know, but it is the most helpful part for your body. And I know it looks weird and a lot of people are afraid uh, to purge, but really don't be. For me, that is the best part and just embrace it. The ceremonies at Omai are so beautiful. Uh, the team has so much love and passion for the medicine. Um, they also have so much love for the participants uh, when I needed a hug, uh, they gave me one. Uh, when I asked someone to sit next to me, they did that. When I needed a hand, uh, they gave me one. Um, yeah, they really made me feel so loved and safe. And yeah, that really, really helped me during my journeys. And yeah, I'm forever grateful for that. Also, the music they played during the ceremony was amazing. And at first I was a little bit skeptical and afraid because I heard a lot of experiences from other people. And they said, if you're going to do ayahuasca, you have to do it with a shaman and don't go to a place where they play music from Spotify. So I was a little bit afraid beforehand, but they couldn't be more wrong. The music played such a big role in my journeys. And because it was music from Spotify, there was a lot of variation. There was traditional music. There was classical music. There were songs from movies. So yeah it was so beautiful um i'm still listening to the music every single day and yeah in that way i can be reminded of those six beautiful days and yeah that really really helps me so yeah it was amazing 
don't let people tell you how to do it or how not to do it. Uh, the traditional way might be more for some and the non-traditional way might be more for others. But to form your opinion about that, you first have to try it. And one way is not better than the other. Uh, you just have to follow your heart, your intuition and just do what feels good for you. Mother Ayahuasca also told me to tell people about this beautiful medicine and to speak up about it because just like it really helped me and just like it really changed my life, it could also help a lot of other people and change their lives. So that's why I'm making this video right now and I really hope that it reaches the right people. I really hope that I can reach someone with this video that needs it right now. Even if it's just one person, I hope that you're going to take the step. I know it's not easy, it's really hard, but I know you can do it. And if you're going to do ayahuasca, I really recommend you to do it at Omai. You will not be disappointed and most importantly, you will be in good hands. This was my testimonial. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, you can send me a message on Instagram or Facebook. Thank you so much, Team Omai, for the beautiful experiences. You will always have a place in my heart, a really special place, and you will definitely see me in the future. I wish you all the love and light in the world. And always remember, there is always a way to heal and you are not alone.